Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to take a look at how to find the length of a string. And we do this by using a built-in function called len in Python. So um, this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial so I decided to add uh, a little extra into it. We're going to actually build a little program that will check a user's um, username and password to see if it's long enough for us to accept it into our website or program. So um, when we do that, if I, don't, I forget to mention, please do not use this in real life. It's not that secure, <laughs> but it's just to show you um, how Len works and how we can use it. So anyway, let's fire up Python interpreter, Python 3, fire that up. Um, if you have not yet um, updated your Python uh, software to Python 3.5.0 please do so, so I think it's two videos back I show you how to do that so check that out anyway let's uh, get the length of a string so by doing it to get a length of a string we can do this let's create a variable first um, that contains a string or references a string object so we can say this is my string and there we go that's our string hit return then we want to get the length of this string so we do len uh, parentheses a parenthes closing parentheses hit return and it returns to me the number 17 that's counting from this t including the spaces all the way to this g 17 characters long including spaces so that's the length that's pretty simple right we could also do something like print len uh, don't do a string this is my new string. Close out my string. Close out my build-in function len. And close out print. And hit return. And we got 21. So that is pretty simple. That's how you get the length of a string in Python. So let's build a program where we check if the user's name is long enough. And password is long enough. So I'm going to open the uh, sublime text up here. Create a new file by hitting command N. I'm going to save my file, and of course it's going to be slow. I'm just going to, I'm just going to throw this one on my desktop here. We're just going to call it, um, let's see, when tut.py, and we'll save it. Alright, so first things we need to do is get the user's uh, um, input. So we want to get the user's username and password from them. So first off we're going to do username as a variable equal to input and this is a built-in function. We haven't discussed this yet but we'll eventually cover it so just follow along. This gets the user's input. So we're going to get input what is your username period and I'll just put a must be four or more characters. exclamation point. And then hit turn. Next thing we want to do is get the user's password. So we'll do password equal to input again. And we'll do the same thing. Get uh, what is your password? Password. And must be, let's say, six or more characters. And then, now that we're getting these two, um, we got these two here, we got the username and the password, we want to check to make sure they're that long. So I'm going to use a if statement. We haven't seen these yet, we'll get to them eventually. If uh, len username is greater than four, and, and here's the end in the boolean, um, operators that we looked at a couple tutorials ago um, and len of password is greater than six uh, print you're good to go then we'll use else if, per if the person's um, 
username or password does not meet uh, greater than four or greater than six, we will print it's not secure. So what's going on here? So first off we get the input of the user's uh, username and we assign it a variable of username and then we get the uh, user's password input and we assign it uh, a variable of password. All right. And then down here we're going to say if the length of username is greater than 4 and the length of password is greater than 6, print you're good to go. Like somewhere in here, we'd say, all right, allow them to sign up for a website or into our software. Um, or else, print, this is not secure enough. So down here, we'd say, no, you can't enter or, you know, access the software. Pretty simple, right? Like this is, you know, there'd be more to this if this was an actual program or a website. But, hey, I'm just showing you a way to use Len, Len in real life. All right, so we do that. So let's go ahead and bring that up, uh, bring up my terminal again. You can exit the terminal by hitting Control D, and I put it in my desktop, so let's hit Change Directory Desktop, and I have no idea what I call it, so let's bring up Sublime Text one more time, len type py, and we'll do python3 len py, hit return. What is your username? Tommy. What is your password? Uh, password. You're good to go. See what it says right here? You're good to go. How about, let's run that one more time. If you push it up on your, um, on your uh, arrow key, it will bring up the last command in the command prompt or your terminal. Hit return. Let's try one that's not long enough. I'll say Tom. And my password is password again hit return. It's not secure enough. Alright, so there's a basic little program where we use length uh, build-in function to check to see if something is long enough. I mean there's other ways you could do this and it's completely up to you like the length of um, so you build SEO software and the length of a description on the website. Is it long enough? Is it short enough? Hey, you can do a lot of things with it. So that's length in the in uh, Python. If you got any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.